Service of morning prayer will begin on page 19 of Enriching Our Worship. God is spirit, and those who worship must worship in spirit and in truth. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, let our mouth proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Holy One is in our midst. O come, let us worship. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a shout to the Lord with psalms. For you are a great God. You are great above all gods. In your hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are yours also. The sea is yours for you made it and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For you are our God and we are the people of your pasture and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. The Holy One is in our midst. O oh, come, let us worship. Psalms for this morning are Psalms number 70 and 71, beginning on page 682 of the Book of Common Prayer. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those who seek my life be ashamed and altogether dismayed. Let those who take pleasure in my misfortune draw back and be disgraced. Let those who say to me, Aha, and gloat over me, turn back, because they are ashamed. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say forever, Great is the Lord. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come to me speedily, O God. You are my helper and my deliverer. O Lord, do not tarry. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle, keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. 
Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and of the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him, go after him and seize him. Because there is none who will save. O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience, and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long. Though I cannot know the number of them, I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young, and to, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me, Shall I make known your strength to this generation and your power to all who are to come? Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, O God? You have shown me great troubles and adversities. you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, verses 1 through 8. Send out your bread upon the waters, for after many days you will get it back. Divide your means seven ways or even eight, for you do not know what disaster may happen on earth. 
When clouds are full, they empty rain on the earth. Whether a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it will be. Whosoever observes the wind will not sow, and whoever regards the clouds will not reap. Just as you do not know how the breath comes to the bones in the mother's womb, so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. In the morning sow your seed, and at evening do not let your hands be idle, for you do not know which will prosper, this or that, or whether both alike will be good. Light is sweet, and it is pleasant for the eyes to see the sun. Even those who live for many years should rejoice in them all. Yet let them remember that the days of darkness will be many. All that comes is vanity. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even a death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 through 20. Now when Jesus came into the district, district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By divine mercy we have a new birth into a living hope. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead we have an inheritance that is imperishable in heaven. The ransom that was paid to free us was not paid in silver or gold, but in the precious blood of Christ. The Lamb without spot or stain, God raised Jesus from the dead and gave him glory. 
so that we might have faith and hope in God. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear our cry, O God, and listen to our prayers. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Help us, O God, our Savior, deliver us and forgive us our sins. Look upon your congregation, give to your people the blessing of peace. Declare your glory among the nations and your wonders among all peoples. Do not let the oppressed be shamed and turned away. Never forget the lives of your poor. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your favor to those who are true of heart. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Grant, O God, that we may follow the example of your faithful servant Barnabas who, seeking not his own renown but the well-being of your church, gave generously of his life and substance for the relief of the poor and the spread of the gospel. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by any adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh. And hasten the kingdom, and hasten the coming of your kingdom, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome to our service and morning prayer here at All Saints in San Francisco. We are so glad that you have joined us today. You'll notice we are in red as we celebrate the feast of St. Barnabas the Apostle. It is certainly a day to give thanks, to rejoice in the power of God, to rejoice in God's love, to celebrate the gifts of God to mankind, to humankind. I am working on my gender language and do make slips. But know this, I am praying for each and every one of you. I am praying for Christians and non-Christians, people of faith and non-believers throughout this country, throughout this world.
for this pandemic, this racial unrest is touching all of us. But I know in my heart, I know in my soul that God will bring about good things. And I pray that God's blessing will be on each and every one of us. If you have any prayer requests you would like to have included on our morning prayer services, please contact us through our website, allsaintssf.org, or email me directly, chaplain at allsaintssf.org, and your prayer request will be included. Additionally, we have a whiteboard in front of the church. If you're walking by 1350 Waller Street, wearing a mask, keeping your social distance, for above all, we pray that you will be safe and you will keep your loved ones safe and healthy. But feel free to write down any prayer requests on our bulletin board, and they will be included in the morning prayer service. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Dear God, we pray for your holy church, for all who minister in her, for all bishops, priests, deacons, pastors, all parsons, all lay people leading services at this time. We pray for all the nations of this world, for all those in authority. May they be guided to just and moral decisions through your love and your wisdom. We pray for the poor, the sick, the homeless, the hungry, the needy. We pray for those in prison. We pray for those facing financial insecurity, and we pray for any and all unemployed. We pray to you for those who are suffering from COVID-19 and from those who are concerned about it. We pray to you for Janie, Mana, Fred, Rose, Aster, and Roger. To God, we pray for all the souls of the departed. We pray for those who have passed away from COVID-19. We pray for George, Brianna, Ahmad, for any and all who have been killed, murdered, executed because of racial injustice and bigotry. Pray for Dorothy, Tom, Bernadette, John, Leo, Charles, Carolyn, Charlie, Johnny, Richard, Robert, Daniel. May light perpetual shine upon them. Dear God, we pray to you for the concerns and cares of this congregation, for the, those of this community, for all those we hold dear in our heart. We pray for all medical professionals, government workers, frontline workers, emergency workers, grocery store workers, truck drivers, any and all who are working to keep us safe, fed, healthy. We pray for Polly, Shirley, Bill, Brad, John, Richard, Harris family, Jose, Josie, Carol, Yvonne, Gretchen, Tilo, Lilia, Anton, Helen, Genia, Doug, Dog, Prim, London, Donald, Eddie, Carol, Juan, the Altamuros, the Avilas, the Alos, the Zendejas, Fran, Penny, Mina, Steph, Adagunda Marx, Jim and his family, Gregory, Lola, B, Congo Timothy, Israel, Beth, Kay, Jerome, Mormons, Roger and his wife, Baby Isla, Mackenzie, Dreamers, Ian, Lola Carmelita, Ninon Rose, Abigail, Len, Malia, Sierra, Isaiah, Josh, Ace, Ty, S. Ellen family, Tony, Jean, Teresa, Luis, John, Daniel, William, the Riveras, the Bascos, the Colangelos, the Grimshaws, the Studers, the Luciones, Cricket, Olga, Constantine, Dimitri, Matthew, the Wansings, Otis, Thomas Packer, Lou, Osun, Estianas, Howard, Sophia, Ricky, 
Annika Elizabeth, Dr. Lenz, Nicole, Jesus, Penny, Claire, Krisha, Jim, Sana, David, Phyllis, and Tom. Dear God, we give you thanks for all the blessings of this life, for everything you do for us each and every single day. May we be given a greater awareness of your blessings. We give thanks for this community here at All Saints. We thank you for our interim rector, Beth, our music director, Bill, our office administrator, Augustine. We give thanks for our lay leaders. We give thanks for our volunteer clergy. We thank you for our Saturday morning food program. We pray to you for the people who are fed by it, giving thanks for the volunteers who serve in it and praying that this ministry may begin again soon. We give thanks for the San Francisco health care home and pray for those who dwell there. We give thanks to the medical personnel and staff who work there and the volunteers who serve in this ministry. And we pray that this ministry also may begin again soon. We give thanks for the 100th birthday of Willard Harris, the baptism of Perebi, for Marina, for Henry. We give thanks for the safe birth of Vera and her mother, Sylvie the safe birth of Felix and her parents, Katina and Rob, for the safe birth of Liam and his mother, Sana, for the safe birth of Helen and her parents, Adrian and Derek. Most of all, great God, we give you thanks for this wonderful, marvelous gift of creation. May we become faithful stewards of this great gift. For whom and for what else shall we pray? Let us join together all our prayers in the general thanksgiving found on page 101 of the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you in the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.